Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Dewi Han. Let's get right into it. Dewi Han is one of the three main protagonists of The God of High School and uh, along with uh, Yomira and Mori Jean of course. Um, uh, Dewi Han originally entered the God of High School tournament in order to save the life of his best friend Sengdib. I can't pronounce that name. I don't know. I'm very sorry. Nonetheless, um, he joined in the um, tournament in order to save his friend because the end um, goal of the high school tournament is to crown the one champion and that one champion can have any um, wish granted that he so chooses. And so for Dewi, that was obviously getting his friend uh, friend's life saved. He was suffering from a terminal illness. I can't remember if I was quite told um, what it was. I think it was cancer, but I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> Nonetheless, however, um, during um, the um, in the first like you know preliminary uh, not uh, in the first stage of the high school tour uh, of the God of High School tournament before you know the um, leaders of each individual area had been crowned even uh, when he was having his fight with Mori Jean, uh, he came to find out, however, that his friend had died, and so at that point he had really no point in fighting anymore. However, his friend's last words to him were fight for yourself don't fight for me don't fight to try and save me just go ahead and fight for what you believe just go fight to get stronger right and so that's exactly what Dewey did he fought Mori Jean at his absolute peak strength tried his best however he did lose that fight nonetheless um after which um you know you get through um all of the um stuff with um you know, Mori getting his memories back and uh, realizing that he is the um, Monkey King and, you know, Jai Chion Dai Siong, whatever, nonetheless. Um, and so during all of that, uh, Dewi Han had lost his right eye, I, I, yes, uh, right eye, um, to the king. What had happened was um, Mori Jin was currently in the other realm, the Sages realm, I, I believe it's the Sages realm. And so... Um, Dewi Han was and uh, they and uh, Dewi Han and the rest of the alliance sort of met up with the king, and so at that point the king stated, "Let's just leave this alone. There's no point in fighting right now. We can just all walk away." And Dewi went, "All right, we'll walk away if you give us Mori's grandfather Tai Jin Jin," and the king went, <laughs> "Psych, you thought," and took his eye. He basically just like he literally like. It was shown to be so ridiculously quick. Like, the actual animation wasn't even shown. It was just like a zzzm, and his eye's just gone. His, he's bleeding from the eye, and his hand's covering it. Done. Um, after which, Dewi Han was later um, met at his house by the king, and the king uh, came to say uh, to apologize for taking Dewi's right eye, because, um, as, he, as he said, he was like, I, I really do like you. You're one of the first, you know, humans that I've actually liked. However, that was the safest and uh, easiest way in order to get out of that situation without going into a uh, full-out brawl in which many people would die probably everyone because there was no one who was there at that time who could fight the king just the king was just gonna shit on everyone and their mother didn't even matter and so and at that point we come to realize that um in order to get mori back from the uh, realm uh, from the sage's realm what we had to do was they had to get the cane of the sage and so the king left his um cane there at Dewi's house sort of to see if how good a guy Dewi was and and Dewi could have just kept that cane and it would have brought his friend back it would have gotten Mori Jean back and they could have fought the king now because Mori is I, stronger than the king I think we can say that I don't think there's much discussion there anyway however um I believe that he uh, the king sort of left his cane there as like a test and he was really just going to uh, get it back. He wasn't going to leave it. However, Dewi nonetheless just went and he said, Sir, um, I'm sorry, but uh, you left this behind. And he gave it to him. And that was like sort of, I believe, what crowned um, Dewi as like a, such a fantastic human in the eyes of the king. Which is um, really, which really worked out in Dewi's favor in the end because, well, I don't know if it worked out in his favor. There was the whole Ragnarok situation that got millions of people killed, but whatever. We'll, we'll say it worked out in his favor because in the end what ended up happening was when um, the king was about to die from R, he, as he was dying, his last act was to give the uh, this wisdom of the sage or his like you know ability to control all of the forces of the universe and he sort of gave that to Dewi Han. He said, you truly are the first human I've ever 
really liked and he gave him his power and when you activate the power of the sage what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to get a third eye in the middle of your forehead as the king had however because Dewi had already lost his right eye in order uh, rather than activating a third eye it sort of like reinstated itself in its in Dewi's right eye and sort of healed it for him and so now Dewi has both of his eyes back and can, and I mean, I don't know if he has his eyes back. He sort of still does keep it bandaged up. However, when he does use utilize the um, power of the sage, he gets like an omega symbol in there. And I think he can see out of it. Oh, no, he, he can't see out of it. Sorry. Um, but, you know, he... Um, he got enough power back where it really doesn't matter because as it stands, I want to say that he's like top five strongest characters in the God of High School. I think that's like pretty obvious to say. Probably even top five, I would say, but I nonetheless, doesn't really matter. Um, so um, what ended up happening was Dewi Han and Yomira were in like um, in the Nox headquarters. And so um, Yomira had to go ahead and Dewi decided he'll stay back and protect anyone um, and stop anyone else from entering behind Yomira to try and catch her. And so as he was doing that, he was fighting like several ex executives at the same time who were like as strong as he was like individually probably and so he did end up, uh, end up losing his life however executive r was um he was sort of desperate to try and get yomira on his side and so he did and so he told her that if you follow me i'll revive dewi which is exactly what happened and so currently uh dewi han is uh, well, he goes by several names, I suppose, now. He goes by the Sage of the East, who heads the second largest kingdom, um, or, well, second largest organization uh, next to the uh, world government itself, next, uh, like, in terms of power. Um, he, as I stated earlier, is one of the strongest people alive and definitely the strongest human alive. Um, another name that he goes by is obviously the Jade Emperor or the Sage of the East or the King of Humans because whoever uh, gains the power of the king is so, um, also gains the title of um, the uh, King of Humans. And so at, I think, and so currently obviously um, Dewi Han and um, Modi Jean are like in a battle against the world government itself to try and, um, you know, kill um and the world president, or, or I suppose he's not the world president anymore, he's Tahatkata, but n nonetheless, um, you know, I think I'm done with my video, but I think I'm just going to talk a little bit about his abilities really quickly. Okay, so Dewi Han's um, borrowed power is obviously Hayate. Hayate is shown to be more of like a, um, like a protective or a um, healer sort of, um, Bored power and isn't known to be for his strength. Ha, psych, you thought there was actually a time when uh, he was shown to uh, use his, um, like, attack mode, I believe he called it. And he just, and he, like, beat the shit out of uh, Chansik, the um, dragon held by Executive O, or I think it's Executive O, the one with the white hair and the dragons. You can't really confuse them. Um, Hayate has like several abilities, you know, he has um, like hydrokinesis, which gives him the ability to generate and manipulate water for Dewi, water of Hayate drops, which encloses others in a water droplet, which can, you know, act as a shield and protect them, um, water shield, which is essentially just the same thing, just in a physical sense, uh, like it's like a barrier rather than like a shield, I don't... I, I don't even know what, how, what the difference is. There's a uh, water arrow, arrows of water created by fusing Hayate's water with Dewey's The Dance of the White Tiger. Um, and yeah, I think that mainly covers it. Um, just quickly, I'm going to talk about his um, Sage's Wisdom really quickly and the force manipulation that comes with. First is obviously gravity manipulation, which is really the most commonly used one, I want to say. Um, you know, he's able to increase and decrease... Um, um, gravity as he sees fit like um, it was shown that he uh, for himself he had put like 30 times gravity on himself as sort of like um, training as how you know Modi Jean was training by keeping a piece of Yoe in his ear it was sort of that same thing for um, Dewi it was sort of like how uh, you know Goku in Dragon Ball was wearing weighted clothes to help him power up quickly um, strong force manipulation uh, he can manipulate the very forces that bind protons and neutrons together at a molecular level, 
attraction and repulsion, you know, like pain and Naruto, inertia manipulation. Um, he can manipulate inertia using it in a combination with physical abilities such as the dance of the white tiger to expedite the power of his punches. I legitimately have no idea what inertia is. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments below, but literally not a clue as to what that is. Just read it. Looks like a really sick word. Not a goddamn clue. And I'm too lazy to look it up. So here we are. Uh, weak and lastly, but not least, weak force manipulation. Uh, using the very force that decays particles, Dewey can destroy any object in its path. And I believe that covers it, and we are like 10 minutes in. Jesus Christ, I did not expect this to be this long. But nonetheless, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the flip side.